Good morning, brothers and sisters. Our devotional thought this morning comes from Exodus, the 15th chapter, Exodus chapter 15. I want to spotlight verse 26. It says, and, uh, and said, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord by God, it will do what is right in his sight. It will give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes. I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Let's bow our heads. Our Father God, Lord, we thank you for a new day. We thank you for waking us up today. Now, Lord, as we open your word, I pray that you will give us wisdom and knowledge and strength to walk in you on this day. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Folks, I want to talk to you this morning for a short time about the topic, a new day. In our, in, in our verse this morning, it states that Moses is speaking and, and, and he's telling the people what God said. And he said, he said, listen, if you diligently hearken to my voice and do what's right in my sight, I keep my commandments and keep my statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee which I brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. Brothers and sisters, in this passage, the, 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 the Israelites had just left Egypt. They had just finally been granted their freedom, and, but, but, but even after they were granted their freedom, uh, Pharaoh came. He came after them. And they crossed the Red Sea, and we know the story that they tried to cross the Red Sea, Pharaoh and his army. And, 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 and the water came and drowned them all. So they finally were able to put Egypt behind them. No longer did they have any pursuers. No longer did they have to worry about Pharaoh over their shoulders. So, so they break out in Exodus 15 into song of praise, of praise to God of what he's done for them. And when you read through the chapter, you get down to verse 26. And he's letting them know, listen, all you have to do is follow me. I, I, I know that you are used to being saved, slaves, but it's a new day. You no longer are slaves. I, I know you're used to mistreatment, but it's a new day. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about being oppressed anymore. I, I know, I, I, I know you were used to. You, 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 you saw all these plagues where Firstborn died and blood turned and, and animals died and frogs came and, 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 and gnats came in. But, 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 but you don't have to worry about that. That it's a, it's a new day. All is behind you. God said, listen, don't worry about Egypt anymore. I brought you out of that. You are no longer slaves. You no longer have pursuers. This is a new day. It's a different day. And brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, we have to take every day like the, like the, like the Israelites took this day. It was a, it was a day of freedom. No longer were they slaves. No longer were they oppressed. Now they were trying to walk and, and God said, listen, if you keep your hand in my hand, if you keep following my word, you will not see those things again. Brothers and sisters, I know a lot of us may have had rough times. Yesterday may have been a, been a taxing day. You may have got some bad news yesterday. You may, you may, you may, you, you may have, you, you, you may have had discourse and disagreements yesterday. You may have been sick yesterday. I don't, but God says this morning, it is a new day. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. It's over. Don't worry about, about the troubles of the past. Don't worry about the, about the people that were after you. God says today is a new day. And all I want you to focus on is walking in my ways, keeping your hand in my hand. Because if you keep your hand in my hand, today will not be like yesterday. You will not see those same plagues. You will not go through that same turmoil. But keep your hand in my hand, and I will show you some new things. I will take you on a new path. But folks, if we want that new day, we have to keep our hand in God's hand because the word says clearly, if you do what's right, if you keep my commandments, if you keep all my statutes, then you will not see what you just saw yesterday. You will not see Pharaoh pursuing you. You will not see the plagues again. And brothers and sisters, 
I don't know about you, but I want today to be better than yesterday. I want to see some new things today. I want to go to new heights with God today. And that starts early in the morning like we're doing, folks. Asking God to order your steps and keeping your hand in his hand. And when we do that, God will say, I'm going to show you some new things. I'm going to take you to some new places. And you won't have to worry about the trials of yesterday. Father God, Lord, we thank you today. We thank you for allowing us to see a new day. Now, Father, I pray many of us could look at yesterday and say, oh, well, it was a rough day or there were some downsides. But Lord, we want today to be better than yesterday. We don't want to be worrying about the same issues as yesterday. So, Father God, we're praying for a new day in you today. We're praying with a, with a higher walk with you today. Lord, we may have been walking with you for a long time, but we, wanna, we, 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 we still want some new mercies. We still want some new grace. We still want some new understanding of you and your word. So, Father God, I pray that as we start this new day, we will start and end it in your hands. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, my brothers and sisters.